Dr. Soule was a wonderful teacher. I came to understand his dedication and his real loyalty to the College of Medicine. With Dr. Soule, I could feel his kindness and his humility. And I see the same characteristics in Dr. Gallant. Jan exemplifies what Dr. Soul was, is, and will always be about. Both are radiologists, superb clinicians, wonderful teachers, and both carry a passion for the future of our medical students who become physicians and for the future of this medical school. Dr. Gallant has given so much to this medical school, both as a physician and as an educator, and she's given her life to helping make medicine a better profession for all of us. I didn't have a chance to work with Dr. Soule, and I had heard his name because he's a radiologist, and I trained as a pediatric radiologist, but I believe that he had incredibly strong interpersonal skills and organizational skills, and I wish he was here today because I'd like to talk with him about our missions process and what we've done. Jan has overseen the most radical change in the admission process that has ever happened in terms of moving from intense individualized interviews to the process that we now use, which involves many, many interviewers, and she's done it so well. She works tirelessly to ensure that our admissions process is evidence-based, competency-driven, and fair. And I think what a legacy that she's going to leave for our institution. Her ability to think about the future of what we want a physician to be as an integrative member of a care team who understands diversity, equity, inclusion, humanism, professionalism, and also has the scientific know-how to make a difference, that's what Jan Gallant can recognize in the students who come through this school. I can't imagine working with a more wonderful group of people. They're actually the ones who deserve the credit for doing the hard work of developing and implementing the multiple mini interview. They have worked tirelessly and are constantly striving to improve. It's important to have someone like Dr. Galat in admissions because she really shows off what's best about the Larner College of Medicine. Our collaborative spirit, our welcoming environment, you know, the Vermont vibe. I tell applicants sincerely that this is a warm, welcoming, and supportive environment. And that's because the people here at the College of Medicine care about others, work with others, collaborate with others, and are really interested in helping. Dr. Galat is always open to being a teacher. She's also open to mentorship. You can't just define her as either a clinician or in academia. She does it all, and she does it with such grace, but that's the beauty in it. She does it for no merit other than the joy of doing it. I've come to feel so incredibly grateful for an organization that does select people and um, recognize them. Because we all know that it's never one individual, we know that. It's really one individual and then 10, 20, 100, 200, 1,000 others. In my case, that's simply true. But I know that when the team I work with learn that we've been given, we've been given the Bradley Soul Award in my name, but it's as much theirs as mine, that they will be so proud and happy that we're, they're helping us move forward with something so important as changing the whole landscape of medicine for the future. Congratulations, Jean. You're a wonderful person, and it's absolutely my honor to be your colleague and friend. Thank you. Dr. Gallant, congratulations. I'm so proud of you, and it's been such an honor to be able to work with you. Congratulations, Jan, on this wonderful achievement. You truly are first with the A. Bradley Soul Award, well-earned and well-deserved. <laughs>